This episode of Into the Music is brought to you by Coda Music. It's a great way to discover new music and listen to all of your favorite artists for free. The link is in the description. In today's episode we're going to explore Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez is a multi-talented performer with featured roles on the screen, both small and big, and a musical career that reached the summit of the charts from the very beginning. Her group Selena Gomez and the scene issued a trio of breezy modern pop albums from 2009 to 2011 that each reached the top 10. After going solo, she scored a pair of number ones with the more adult-oriented Stars Dance 2013 and Revival 2015, then branched out into new sounds on collaborations with Kygo at Ain't Me and Marshmallow Wolves. She hit the top of the singles chart for the first time with Lose You to Love Me 2019, a soul-searching ballad that delved into Gomez's real-life relationships and marked a new openness in her lyrical approach. The single's subsequent parent release, Rare 2020, became her third straight number one album. Born in 1992, she grew up in Texas and got her first break as a cast member on the kids' TV show Barney and Friends. Gomez landed minor roles in several other TV programs, but it was her affiliation with the Disney Channel which discovered her during a nationwide talent search in 2004, that officially jump-started her acting career. Guest appearances on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody in Hannah Montana paved the way for Gomez's own show, The Wizards of Waverly Place, which premiered in October 2007 and quickly became one of the network's most popular programs. Gomez began juggling her commitment to The Wizards of Waverly Place with additional projects, including movie roles and a burgeoning singing career. Gomez began branching out into pop music by recording songs for her own Disney projects. She sang the theme song for The Wizards of Waverly Place, recorded several other tunes for the show's soundtrack, and performed on the soundtrack of the family film Another Cinderella Story. By 2009, Shed also assembled her own teen pop band, Selena Gomez in the Scene, and signed a contract with Hollywood Records. The band's full-length debut, Kiss and Tell, was released that year and went gold, as did its 2010 follow-up, A Year Without Rain. Gomez continued filming The Wizards of Waverly Place and made her theatrical debut in the 2010 film adaptation of Ramona and Beezus, but her music garnered just as much attention. When The Wizards of Waverly Place started airing its final season in November 2010, Gomez shifted her attention back to her band, whose third album, When the Sun Goes Down, was recorded in early 2011 and released later that year. She then took a break from music to focus more on acting, with her first role in a decidedly adult movie in 2013 Spring Breakers showing she could stretch beyond teen stardom. Her return to music in 2013 with her fourth album, but the first credited to her as a solo artist, also showed some stretching as she added dubstep, R&B, and EDM to her sound. Stars Dance was released in July of 2013 and debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. The rest of that year was a bit challenging for her, as she fired her management team and parted ways with Hollywood Records. She soon bounced back, though, and scored a deal with Interscope. One last Hollywood album, a contract fulfilling hits collection titled For You, was released in late 2014 and featured the self-pinned platinum single The Heart Wants What It Wants. In early 2015, Gomez guested on ZS hit EDM single I Want You To Know. On the heels of that success, she released her own single, The Sir Nolan, and Nick Monson produced Good For You, which featured a guest appearance by the song's co-writer, rapper ASAP Rocky. The song featured on the 2015 album Revival, her first for Interscope. With production by Mattman and Robin, Hit Boy, and Benny Blanco, among others, and songwriting credits for Charlie XCX, Julia Michaels, and Chloe Angelitas, the album had many collaborators. Gomez executive produced, though, and shared writing credits on six songs, making it her most personal effort to date. It entered the Billboard 200 at the top and spawned three singles that reached the top 10 on the top 40 chart. While touring in support of Revival, Gomez cut the trek short to address personal health problems stemming from her lupus, later revealing that during her time away from the spotlight she underwent a kidney transplant. Re-emerging at the end of 2016, she collaborated on a single with Kygo at Ain't Me and Marshmallow Wolves, both charting in the top 20 of the Billboard Hot 100 in 2017. The next year was a busy one for her as she acted in the movie A Rainy Day in New York, served as executive producer of the Netflix show 13 Reasons Why, 
and worked with Marshmello on the top 20 single Wolves. She also issued the solo singles Bad Liar and Fetish, which featured rapper Gucci Mane. In 2018, she contributed the song Back to You to the 13 Reasons Why, Season 2 soundtrack, joined with DJ Snake, Cardi B, and Ozuna on Taki Taki, and sang the hook on Benny Blanco as single I Can't Get Enough. While working on an album in 2019, she also executive produced the HBO series Living Undocumented and appeared in the Jim Jarmusch zombie comedy The Dead Don't Die. Near the end of the year she released the confessional ballad Lose You to Love Me and it became her first single to reach the top of the Billboard charts. The song set the tone for her sixth album, Rare, a collection of tracks that explored aspects of Gomez's life and ways her previous work hadn't. It featured the usual crop of heavy hitters behind the scenes, including Matman and Robin, Justin Tranter, and Julia Michaels, and entered the Billboard 200 at number 1 in January of 2020.